Okay, apply the foot brake. And off. Well, great way to start vlog number three. Stuck under a vehicle with no brakes. <laughs> Okay folks, welcome back to vlog number three. And we are out this morning conducting vehicle safety inspections and continuity inspections, vehicle examination for roadworthiness. Oh, it's been a long morning. Four tractor units, four trailers, and all of them have had serious critical defects on. We've probably posted about this on our social media, um, such as Instagram and Facebook, uh, during the week. But it just highlights the roadworthiness of vehicles. It highlights the fact that a particular company that we're doing it for this morning, their mechanics and engineers have been off on furlough and damn good fleet of mechanics, 100%, but because they haven't been in, the vehicles now have got into this state. Has about highlights the importance of your maintenance staff, how good your maintenance staff are. There's a difference in a fitter and a mechanic. There's a difference in a mechanic and engineer. There's a difference then in a fleet engineer or a fleet mechanic compared to the rest of them. So. Uh, we'll do this here now guys, um, this particular company we have fleet inspection training to do with them and hopefully we make get a bit of footage of that down the line if they allow us. So yes, this is vlog 3 and let's see what happens. Okay folks, so we're back up here now in just outside Dundalk and the place we go in this job will be all over the place from full industrial to transportation to shipping to airlines to airports and then obviously some beautiful sites as well. So as you can see behind us Beautiful, beautiful water holiday site, and then the backbone of the world industry. Anyway, we need to keep going. No time to enjoy that at the moment. Sure. Okay guys, so we're just finishing up here in Newry. It is 7 p.m. Beautiful evening. Okay folks, so it is nearly 9pm at night and we've just landed back into our Listen Ski offices um, into our training centre of excellence. Now, as I say, it's 9 o'clock at night. We have four shifts running between Northern Ireland and GB with uh, our vehicle examination guys, um, our vehicle examiners, our vehicle inspectors who will go in now on two contracts that we have um, and examining vehicles for roadworthiness or safety inspections um, in GB. And then we have a forklift course starting tonight in Belfast for a large distribution centre where we will have a trainer in tonight doing four guys um, on refresher, three year refresher forklift training. So yes, it doesn't really stop. One of the things we said in this vlog is we were going to try and highlight as much from a business point of view more than anything else. Um, so it's good from that point of view, but it's a hell of a long day most days and when we have the right mechanisms in place and the right staff in place then it makes it a hell of a lot easier so having said that it is the first of july today 
and we are we've actually put out now for a new position that we're looking for for a service delivery manager now we want this guy or this lady based in Northern Ireland um, we want them to be fit to run Northern Ireland the South of Ireland and GB um, to correlate you know and work in conjunction with the likes of our operations officers our um, training development officers or trainers um, or vehicle examiners the whole team the whole crew including our agents and our associates which is a massive thing as well so having said that as I say, it's the 1st of July, we've put that post out now at the moment. We are also still looking for training development officers, um, training manager, um, vehicle examiners, vehicle inspectors, trainers. Trainers, we are mad for good trainers. And people will say to me, you know, you advertise for trainers and I applied and I didn't even get shortlisted. Yes, you didn't get shortlisted. We're looking for good damn passionate knowledgeable trainers that want to come into the trade even if you're not fully qualified yet or you haven't a massive experience if you have in training i mean but if you have experience in that field of whatever it is we'll say plant machinery forklifts um driver driver assessment all that sort of stuff driver cpc training tachographs uh, vehicle inspection training we want to hear from you we want to get guys in we only want passionate interesting people who you know want to make a difference every day so from that guys, if you get onto our social media, you'll see um, our career opportunities with TCTS Group, you'll see our career opportunities with TCTS Ireland, you will see our career opportunities with Smith Enterprises, and you will see our career opportunities with TLS, which is Transport and Logistics Services Limited, which is um, another company that we have who's, which specialises in transportation, specialist transportation. You know, we do a lot of uh, mobile medical units, we do uh, automotive um, transport, we do the likes of, um, we have a number of event trailers that we rent out on a rental um, division. And even tonight here, I'm just running into the office because we have two trailers that are coming back in from hire, two court and side trailers, and one has to go straight out again tonight. But it will not go out to the new customer until it has a safety inspection. So it might have to be myself that's going to do that tonight because we are under severe pressure. I am just doing a wee video here at the front of these. New Volkswagen, new Volkswagen Transporter, the T6.1 um, with LED strips, LED lights on them. Uh, lovely vehicle. However, we have bought this from a dealership, and um, you know I, I'm no lover of them, so we've had a couple of issues with a lot of the new vans, which I know are breaking the minute things yet, but it is a pain in the ass. Anyway, guys, I'm just off the phone. Uh, another skate meeting, another two Zoom meetings. Um, it is getting on now to near 10 o'clock at night, 10 p.m., and we're heading from here now down to our HQ and we have to, what we'll do is I'll just bring the um, the laptop and a couple of the mobile devices home with me so I can touch base with the rest of them. So every morning it's the same guys where we go around and touch base with everybody and you know we get a lot of questions, we get a lot of uh, people looking for guidance and support and a lot of guys you know are thinking well if I phone them and get them in it's going to cost me a fortune. Uh, I just off the phone to one of the, the guys in England that I met about three months ago and it was a free consultation. I don't call it free, it's a no obligation consultation. Let us go in. If if you're 100%, happy days, there's not a problem. But 99.9% .9 of people that we go into and companies we that we go into are not compliant. No way are they compliant. Um, the bosses and the managers and operators, they think they're compliant because they're paying staff to ensure they're compliant. But... You know, some staff are just some staff. They're just humans. They clock in, they clock out. And um, other guys are trying their best and they're not trained in any way. And then you have the other set of guys who are trying their best, but they get no backup or no support from the boss or the operator. There is no, what's the word, cost in it, should I say. You know, when we go out to guys, uh, we're there to try and help people out. We're there to try and put control mechanisms in place. Now, when I say that it's free or it's no obligation, beyond the no illusion we're a business, we're out to make money. However, what we will charge you is only maybe 1% of what you can lose when everything's taken off you, especially for an accident, an incident, a fatal, a serious injury, a life-changing incident, whether it's forklift, plant machinery, warehouse logistics, transport, you name it. Anyway guys, we're gonna get down to our HQ and try and pull a stop to this day and continue on vlogging either tonight or tomorrow and see where that'll bring us. Okay guys, so we are back at our training centre here in Liston Ski and as you can see behind me, we have been out in the first of our new fleet vans. 
um, the Volkswagen Transporter T6.1 um, lovely vehicle we like them and we will give a full review of the crew cab Highline model uh, as soon as we get a bit of a chance so the facelift LED lights etc etc anyway we will give a bit of an overview um, on them vans as they come in but what I'm going to do here guys is as I was coming up the road uh, I took a number of phone calls from some of our GB staff uh, some of our guys based here and this week alone now this will be the 1st of July we have three separate cases in regarding vehicle weights so I think I better put something up with vehicle weights. Now this is for vans and trailers. So no matter what industry you're in, say for example, it could be building, it could be products, it could be um, a shop, it could be delivering frozen foods, whatever it is. Not sure if you can see me there in the dark. Anyway, I'm gonna try and put something up with vehicle weights here guys, very quickly, so bear with me. Okay folks, so this is a part of our presentation uh, when we deliver train in load security and vehicle weights and measures. And if you know this, happy days. If you don't know it, bear with me a wee second and we will try and, you know, lift your knowledge in regards of vehicle weights and measures. So if we take this combination here, for example, it's a basic van and a basic trailer on behind. So when the two are coupled up, it's classed as a combination. All right. So what we need to understand, guys, first of all, is that we have a GVW, the gross vehicle weight. And this is the total weight of the van, everything inside the van, including diesel, everything in the back of the van, possibly three guys in the front, uh, their lunch boxes, their, <laughs> the boss's wallet, whatever it is, everything. If you were to drive over a Weybridge and the gross vehicle weight of that vehicle stated, we'll say 3,500 kg, well then you cannot exceed 3,500 kg. If we look now at the trailer attached, now we have a gross train weight and the gross train weight is the weight of the vehicle with everything in it and the weight of the trailer with everything in it. So of course the trailer has a separate weight, it has its own unladen weight, axle weights etc. But when you combine this, now it's a combination, we have to take into consideration the gross train weight which is the second figure on your chassis plaque. Now this is where people get caught out and this is why your investigation and compliance division uh, be so busy regarding vehicle weights. We now have to understand that we have a permitted legal weight over axle number one. We have a legal permitted weight over axle number two. We have permitted weights over axle number one of the trailer and axle number two of the trailer, or more importantly, axle number three and axle number four now. So again, guys, when it's a combination, we have axle number one, two, three, four in this example. The next thing that we get hit with is the likes of our pin weight, okay? So we have a hell of a lot of um, contributing factors here going on. Now, when I deal with a lot of uh, businesses, and they could be very, very large businesses, they don't understand the compliance regarding the vans and the trailers that they may use, okay? Delivery vans, we've done courier people, we have done, um, you know, anything from retail shopping centers to uh, goods, dry goods, food, refrigerated vans, we've done it all guys, okay? So at this stage here, we have to get the education through more than we do have to get through with the enforcement. So hopefully that will make sense because no matter what you say, the likes of this is not gonna happen, okay? <laughs> because we have this all the time, guys. This is a guy that I was stand beside in a particular uh, manufacturing plant and he thought, listen, happy days, bring it on. So anyways, this is what I'm trying to say guys, we are a TCDS group, big into education, big into the training side of things, okay? And if you don't know, you don't know. And you hear me talk about this all the time. And this is where the training comes in and bespoke specific relevant training is what we pride ourselves on. And we make training for companies all the time. We make specific training, um, especially for your industry or your type of work or whatever it is that you're doing. So hopefully that'll help guys. Remember we have a gross vehicle weight, we have our gross train weight, we have our axle weights, okay? Then we have our unladen weight, and then we have our payload. Yeah, so anyway, if you're stuck guys, give us a shout at info at tctsgroup.com and we'll see what else we can find for you to ponder over. Next. Okay folks, so we are just finished up with another client. It is now Friday morning and I've had a pull into 
local filling station here in County Fermanagh to <clears throat> meet two small operators that have one is only one vehicle and the other guy is only two vehicles. So we've met them here to lock in their company card to the new vehicles, download the tie graph and data from the vehicle unit, download the data from the driver card, and they will put up for analysis now. So we always try and work with guys as best we can. And you know, these guys they didn't understand what a company card was, they didn't know we had to lock it in, they didn't know how to retrieve the data. And as I always say, if you don't know, you don't know. But I'm heading back to the office here now. We have guys out in sight in uh, all over the place today. This week has just been absolutely crazy. And this is why it's very hard to uh, put up the vlogs. What I will say, guys, <clears throat> might have talked about this already. We do have a real exciting position within TCTS Group for Service Delivery Manager. We are looking for trainers and a training development officer and um, vehicle examiners. So we have a lot of, lot of growth. We have a lot of plans on or in the pipeline for TCTS Group and TCTS Ireland. So it's going to be interesting this video maybe, hopefully, because we are in Sligo tomorrow with a, a number of new clients and then because we have another job on Sunday to do and we have a business development meeting on Sunday, we are thinking of staying down in some one of the hotels on Saturday night. So this will be the first stay since COVID-19 um, and that'll be interesting. So hopefully we'll vlog during it to, to show you know, the control measures put in place and to show how different things have got. Anyway, I need to get back to the office. I have to pop into the bank. And that's another thing. I'm popping into the bank here in Listener Ski and the COVID control measures, fair enough. It is what it is. However, now they've started to close at lunchtime. Like their opening hours are poor enough, especially for businesses. And the next thing now they're, they're closing at lunchtime. Just beyond belief how, how poor service is from a lot of the bigger companies you know what there's no need for it no need anyway let's see what happens <laughs>